Hello everybody, I'm Itraface, and in today's video we need to talk about Var or Vary's new evolution, Venelin. Now, um, Venelin is a toxic type evolution, uh, so it, it continues the trend of uh, typings that don't match the evolutions in Pokemon. So, uh, but first, before I get into the details of that, I should probably tell you how to get this. Now, this is from T. Brad M himself. Uh, simply, you need to have your Vari hold a Kabunga coffee, and uh, it needs to be KO'd by a Twilight that's burned on Route 1. But it has to be during strong winds, and it has to be on a Tuesday. Now, this may seem like a lot of requirements, however, uh, get a Kabunga coffee isn't hard to get, and burning something obviously isn't all that hard, you just need to get something with scorching skin, and then wait until a twilight hits you enough for it to inflict itself with burn. Now, the only part that's difficult, uh, wait a minute, what? Oh, you're saying everything T-Bradem just said was a sham? Oh. Also, I'm like, despite the fact that there's lack of color here, I actually like this evolution screen a lot more than before. I don't know why, but anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, T. Breton might have told a little white lie. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you actually evolve it by having it in the front slot of your party and having it fall asleep in the grass of the junkyard. It has to be in the grass. That is how you evolve your Venolin. Now, uh, to get into its base stats, let's uh, let's take a look. 83 HP, 90 energy, 56 melee attack, 62 melee defense, 101 ranged attack, 122 ranged defense, and 61 speed. So, um, in short, this thing is fat as frick. This thing is super chunky. It's tied with Nemore with having the highest range defense in the game. Uh, it's the it's got the highest natural it's got the highest range bulk that's not Gastroke because Gastroke isn't viable. <laughs> uh, but other than that, yeah, it's got the highest range bulk. 83, 122 is super good in this game. You do not want the amount of ranged hits this thing can take is uh, uh, stupid. Anyway, let's get into its abilities. Uh, if you start with Apprehension, it will evolve into Devious, which uh, bypasses the target's ability. Now, with our past uh, Devious users, we haven't thought anything of it because the other abilities were just better. However, with Venolin, Devious, it gets the move Poison, by the way, <laughs> lets you use the move Poison on Stratosaur. You can poison Stratosaur. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, secondly, it's a ranged attacker with Devious, so something like Terror Claw. Its Slick Shell has no effect here, so your Adaptive Assault is at full power. Uh, there was something else here. Oh, right, Ignorant uh, with uh, Wobblisk. If you set up, since you do have Power Focus because Vary has or Vary has po Power Focus, uh, your setup would go through it because you have Devious. So this is actually a user of Devious that works. Now, albeit the uh, former, uh, the last situation is a lot more uh, gimmicky because one, nobody's really using Wobblisk right now, and two, Wobblisk can carry Clay Slap and destroy your soul. Anyway, um, but yeah, you can poison Stratosaur, you can hit Stratosaur with poison moves or toxic moves, and uh, yeah. Anyway, its other abilities, if you go with Guardian, it evolves into Toxic Touch, I believe. Which I believe is just Toxic Spines, but reworded, because this thing doesn't have spines. Yeah. Uh, and then its secret ability is Devious. Oh boy, uh, offensive stat with uh, Devious. Oh boy, or not Devious, Baneful. Baneful, I meant to say Baneful. Toxic type with an offensive stat with its secret ability being Baneful? I have never heard of such a thing. Gobademic and Blotox, please go away, I'm not talking to you right now. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, obviously, uh, Devious is the ability of choice here. Um, it gives you uh, more... It, it gives you more consistency. Um, its range defense is something we don't want to overlook. Also, also, uh, before I go into all of its moves, I just, just want to show right here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Rejuvenate. Yeah, it can learn Rejuvenate. It can also learn Barter. Also, Mud Spatter. 
and of course uh, no 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 not wanting to use those and dodge them, but everybody likes dodge anyway the moves it can learn we're not going to go over the very moves because every all of them have those anyway uh, it gets corrode poison toxic tail charade and slime all by level up now none of these moves are particularly you know of the offensive variety are particularly that good charades a gimmick if you want to break through stuff faster than something more permanent than power focus corrode is a bad move po or poison is a good move toxic tail is uh, a bad move considering you have 56 melee attack um and slime is just a worse adaptive assault now i should probably note that the adaptive assault on venelin has a 20 percent chance of inflicting um a toxic poison meaning it gets stronger every turn rather than your standard poison so it basically has the effect of the move poison so yeah there you go so anyway uh, I, I bet people are going to try and make this work offensively. However, I'm definitely going to see... Uh, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to see it shine with uh, being ran defensively. I, HP, range defense, melee defense is the leftovers. Rejuvenate poison, you, you know, poison stall, you know. And then also, uh, because of how obscenely bulky uh, it is, it really, you don't really need a health amulet. You have the rejuvenate, you have a good energy stat, so that's fine in that department. You don't need a shield because you're already so freaking bulky. Uh, basically, this thing has a free item slot. So what people can do, uh, it's one, I would say it's one of the best users of barter shackles. You can inherently, uh, like most of the things that want to deal with Venelin because it ha are melee attackers because that melee attacks, uh, melee defense stat is so low. However, uh, one one good read with Venelin and boom, melee attacker hindered for life because that those heavy shackles are making it slower than everything. Um, so that's some insane utility paired with uh, Poison Rejuvenate. Uh, you don't even need to run Poison though because Adaptive Assault has that chance to inflict Toxic Poison so you can just keep up offensive pressure while chancing that Poison. Uh, and then of course rejuvenate keeps it healthy and then you could uh, you you could run you you could run poison uh, you could also run potentially power focus to make yourself even scarier offensively you do have a 101 at range attack stat so it's like you're, you're not passive and you do have the bulk to set up it's just uh, yeah it, this thing could go crazy you could also run more gimmicky baneful on poison barbs with mud spatter adaptive assault i again still see devious defensive uh, defensive devious working better so yeah this thing it's going to be a monster now for in a couple of examples of the kind of hits it can take um very smart zulong it's like a four shot unless they're running the proper essence with the move they're using um then it's a three shot um what else what else what else oh all right shachi very smart mystic wand foul chant does not one shot not even after icicle trap <laughs> it's a uh, it does like 78 percent to this thing it can eat a very smart mystic wand boosted foul chant from shachi it can even live very brawny specialization mind essence cycle slap from metatode this thing is illegally bulky you will it is nearly impossible to knock this thing out in one hit from the ranged side nearly impossible uh like the cycle slap from the metatode has like a 12 percent chance of knocking it out in one hit and if you want to run shield you do have a good defense good range defense stat so it's not like it's impossible i just would prefer running barter shackles for added utility but that's just me now i want to talk about something i want to talk about another lumion uh n nothing got buffed by the way uh, fun fact terrorfly was supposed to be the thing that got buffed with uh venelin but jamie released it a little early oops but uh one of the lumions i want to talk about is terra claw now terra claw has that ability that doubles its range defense so technically it's more bulky than venelin on the range side 
However, let's go over each of these things here. Terraclaw, no reliable recovery. Venolin, reliable recovery. Terraclaw, poor energy stat. Venolin, good energy stat. Terraclaw, weak to icicle traps. Venolin, not weak to icicle traps. Terraclaw, reliant on health amulet, limiting what items it can run. Venolin, not worried in the slightest about health amulet, and is essentially a free item slot for your team. Terraclaw, no added utility besides, you know, pressuring damage. Venolin, adds extra utility outside of pressuring damage with barter shackles. What I'm getting at here is, uh, rest in peace, Terraclaw, you will be missed. Uh, but, 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 but I eat, uh, Terraclaw can hit the mine types for super effective. I'd say Seer Knight is better at walling the mine types and hitting them back for super effective because, um, Seer Knight resists it, isn't weak to icicle traps, and in fact, remo and in fact removes them and uh, offer slap down and chase down utility on top of that. And you could even run um, a rapid fire for burn. Rest in peace, Terraclaw. Rest in peace. Uh, you are essentially outclassed no matter what role you want to take on. <laughs> um, but that's not to say this thing is like super undefeatable. It won't want to ever swap into Zevlin because while it doesn't, Zevlin can't two shot Venolin ever, it can provoke it to prevent it from healing or bartering, and it can just pressure damage that way. Spreezy is also something that could deal with it. Pestilence provoke, sap plant, you know, whittle it down that way. Um, uh, it can get overwhelmed if you're trying to wall too many things at once. Like I said, while it can take a Metatode hit, it doesn't want to take a Metatode hit. Um, the only thing that's sad is uh, Chartiki was known as a stall breaker here, but um provoke uh, uh well it, it doesn't have any way to set up damage um it resists muck blast and also you can't poison venolin because it is a toxic type so the muck blast doesn't really work there it's also weak to toxic so uh venolin is going to beat you down uh so rip chartiki rest in peace but uh we do have you know obviously all the, the majority of physical attackers except you know something like tata rest in peace because it resists both your stabs and much better bounces off of it uh physical attackers can threaten it like this will threaten a very large amount of damage despite not showing up on the screen there uh plus two av tross if you're running air essence can just knock it out after icicle trap but uh, generally you want to run dust on that also makes you pray to uh, barter. Um, Swolder, it could take it out slowly, but uh, yeah, it's not really weak to anything Ven uh, Venolin does. Borok one-shots it, Steady Mars can one-shot it. Uh, what else we got here? Yursil's not particularly weak to it and doesn't really care about getting shackled because it has priority, so uh, Yursil's kind of there. It's also pretty bulky, so there you go. Um, uh, idiosyncratic Faraglyph can break through it because you're hitting the physical side. Um, Dibork technically beats it because it can't really do anything to Dibork. Uh, Tyrex doesn't really care too much. Uh, Munchwheel needs it chipped because, well, if it tries to set up, it just gets bartered and then rev up is pointless. Hunter will break it in half, it won't be able to swap in ever. Uh, Joltooth obviously will kill it for swapping in, but no Venolin would ever swap in on a Joltooth, like, ever. Like, if, if, you, if you have half a brain cell, you would not swap in Venolin on Joltooth. Uh, Garlash would break it, Colossotrops would break it, um, Sir, uh, Servalin, Wendelin, Kirolin all break it. Uh, essentially, all of the other, uh, very, uh, all the other variations can break it. Fun fact. <laughs> Uh, Festifer doesn't want to take a toxic hit. Mutagon obliterates, but it is weak to toxic, so gotta be mindful. Um, Metronet can use it as setup fodder, doesn't take any poison damage. Uh, the problem being barter, but if you hypnotize it, don't really need to worry about it too much. 
Um, so yeah, also, it can wall Cephalops. Cephalops can't kill Venelin before it wakes up from a Hypnotize. It could just rejuvenate it off. It's faster than Cephalops, so it can hit it with Adaptive Assault before it goes back to sleep. Uh, so yeah, this thing can just beat Cephalops. Like, we have... I wouldn't call it... Honestly, I would call it a counter. It's faster. It it doesn't... It, it needs to be hit, like, five times. No, four, four, four times. Four times for uh, Soul Drain to knock it out. And uh, you can just recover. And you're faster, so yeah. Cephalops counter, Pog. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts here on uh, Venelin. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this thing will be good? I personally think it'll be very, very, very good. Uh, the item flexibility... The lack of a need of an item really allows it to slot on a lot of teams because a lot of problem with teams is items because we don't have any items in this freaking game please llama train studio give us more items please um but yeah i think this thing will be very good let me know your thoughts on venelin in the comments below um if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like because it does support my channel. Despite me not uploading very much, I will hopefully get back to get, get into that. I just need to buckle down and just just grind it out, you know. And uh, if you're excited for more uploads from me, make sure you're subscribed and have notification bells turned on so you don't miss any. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you all have a good day, afternoon, night, morning, whatever. See ya.